Welcome to March Madness Minute number 12. Today we're going to look at Google Sheets. Google Sheets is spreadsheet software. It's a lot like Excel. It, you can uh, add formulas so it does all of your number crunching for you. And you can do this conditional formatting where things change color based on cr criteria that you enter so you can visually interpret your information uh, really fast. So sparklines is something we're also going to be adding. It's just miniature little graphs. And then a pivot table is going to give us our overview. So so far, I've already gone to Google Drive, hit Create, and clicked on Spreadsheet. And I've entered some text. So I just have some student names, and the student names are repeating because they were given multiple opportunities. And then I do have some running times. I borrowed from sixth graders at, over at Skyridge. And so like I said, this is just text right now. But I might be interested in knowing what was the average speed for the mile. So I can click on a cell, and I'm going to add a formula. So equal average parenthesis and now I'm going to highlight the cells where I want that average from and I if I'm going to be getting more student data down the road I can pull this and extend it and hit enter that's not going to change my data it's uh, I can see right now my average is nine minutes 26 seconds if my cells are blank it's not going to be part of the equation but if I had a zero it would and you can see that this is the average on the fly so as soon as I start adding more information this is changing now instead of typing that formula in over again for winter and spring I can click on this cell for falls average and if I click on that bottom corner on that little square I can click it and drag it and drag the formula over and so if you look at the formula now you'll see it's looking at C because I'm in column C and it automatically changed to D when I pulled it over to column D. So that's one type of function you can do. You can look at insert function and you can do averages, sums. Um, so you can look at that information and, and personalize it for you. So something else I wanted to look at was conditional formatting. So I'm going to click on my times here and I'm going to go to format conditional formatting. So if my information here is greater than or equal to 9 minutes and 30 seconds, I'm going to have the background change color. So let's make it yellow. And I'm going to add another rule. So if it's between, let's say, 8 minutes and 30 seconds and 9 minutes and 30 seconds, We'll make that green, and if it's under, then eight and a half. So it's less than or equal to eight and a half. We'll have it change color here too. Eight thirty. We'll make that one uh, bright blue. Save rules, and now with a glance, I can look and see. I've got quite a bit of blue here. These kids are on track. I've got some yellow, so I might want to work with those students. So that's conditional formatting. Uh, one other thing you can do here is I'm going to say equal sparkline parenthesis and then highlight the cells and hit enter. And so this made a miniature line graph and I can make this larger if I want to. But then this I can easily see that this student uh, had a longer time in the fall compared to I'm sorry, a longer time in the winter compared to fall and spring. And if I click on that, I can drag it down so I get a miniature graph. So it's just another way to have a visual to quickly interpret your information. So I can see like this student had a lot of growth from fall to winter and uh, their time went up a little bit again in spring. And I can also see that a lot of kids seem to be uh, slowing down during the winter and then seeing some growth again in the spring. So the last piece, oh, and actually if you Google Sparkline, you can see you can have different graphs besides the line graph. You can have a bar graph, columns, all sorts of things. The last thing I wanted to show you was a pivot table. So this is the part I usually forget to do is highlight my data first. And now I'm going to data, pivot table. So you saw that the students had multiple opportunities to run the mile for each season, but I really want to know their best time. So I'm going to go over here to rows and I want their names to show up. And I also am interested in the values. So I'm just going to look at the fall mile. And first it's going to do a sum and you can see 
this is a total and that really doesn't help me out. If I was uh, collecting funds for Jump Rope for Heart, this would be a great way if students are giving me money at multiple opportunities um, to see what their total was. Or if you're doing a reading log where students are logging their minutes that they read at home, you could enter that information and see their total for the month. So I don't want the sum. I really am interested in the minimum. And so now I've got the, the fastest time for fall. So thanks and have a great day.